Congruence of triangles. Two triangles are congruent if and only if one of them can be made to superimpose on the other so as to cover it exactly. The general condition for the congruence of two triangles is two triangles are congruent if and only if there exists a correspondence between their vertices such that the corresponding sides and the corresponding angles of the two triangles are equal. SAS, that is, side angle side congruence axiom. Two triangles are congruent if two sides and the included angle of one are equal to the corresponding sides and the included angle of the other. In the figure, if AB equals EF, BC is equal to FG, and angle B equals angle F, then Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle EFG. So CA equals GE. Angle A equals angle E. And angle C is equal to angle G. ASA, that is angle side angle congruence axiom. Two triangles are congruent if two angles and the included side of one triangle are equal to the corresponding two angles and the included side of the other triangle. In triangles ABC and PQR, if angle B is equal to angle Q, angle C is equal to angle R, BC is equal to QR. Then triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR. And hence angle A is equal to angle P and AB is equal to PQ. And AC equals to PR. SSS congruence axiom Two triangles are congruent if three sides of one triangle are equal to the corresponding three sides of the other triangle. If in triangles ABC and DEF, AB is equal to DE, BC is equal to EF, and AC is equal to DF, then triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF and angle A equal angle D, angle B equals angle E, and angle C equals angle F. Right angle hypotenuse side congruence axiom. Two right triangles are congruent if the hypotenuse and one side of one triangle are respectively equal to the hypotenuse and the corresponding side of the other triangle. Given that, if in triangles ABC and DEF, angle B is equal to angle E is equal to 90 degrees. AC equals to DF and BC equals to EF. Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF.